Hi there. Why don't you come on in to this week's episode? No. Good afternoon there. And welcome to this week's episode of Wednesday in the Quengorook, which, uh, first of all, you shouldn't trust my pronunciation about. And secondly, is, as they often say, one of the hundred words the Eskimo have for snow. Now, first of all, I think it's an Inuit word, not a Yupik word, and uh, we should refer more specifically to the people as they are there. But this Warfian idea, the idea that there are many different words for what another culture might think warrants one word, is actually pretty relevant to our lives today in business. You see, snow is almost like the word asset. Once upon a time, if you go back 200 years, most people wouldn't think we needed many words for asset or for capital. If you asked Marx, or if you asked somebody like Smith, they probably would have used one, maybe two words to capture all of the many things that we differentiate between today. And I think of all of the assets that we talk about, the one that comes up most often to me when it comes to this idea of a hundred words in Eskimo for snow is people. You see, even among simple roles like, uh, like analyst or business analyst, we have so many different ways of dividing up the concept. And when you talk to people who think that an analyst is an analyst is an analyst, or a developer is a developer is a developer, you know you might be in for trouble because it's exceedingly important when you actually go to hire or when you're building uh, your capabilities for an organization that you understand what you're actually doing. You pick the right kind of asset. You communicate the asset uh, as the right type of asset. And in particular, when you're trying to obtain something like human capital that you market to and attract and end up interviewing for in hiring the right type of human capital. So just like when uh, someone might refer to snow by a single word because they don't need to use it too often and they don't need to differentiate between something like big old snow bank or uh, hard snow like this or maybe some of this crunchy stuff back here that's half ice and half snow or, well, I don't really have any of the pottery stuff right now, but we saw that on one of our last episodes with a microscope. Um, because it matters in this context to them, they use many specific words to refer to different types of snow. And I encourage you to do the same thing. When you need to pick a specific role to fill, don't just say developer, don't just say analyst. Go out there, do a little research, make sure that you've got your words, your lexicon, appropriate for the task at hand. Because if you don't, you may end up regretting your choice. Just like picking between soft, crumbly, or soft, flaky snow and the kind of stuff that you can actually build a house out of mattered to people who live in the north. So I hope you're warmer than I am right now and uh, your house isn't actually made of snow. But if it is, I hope you're having fun anyway and uh, staying warm. And we'll see you on next week's episode of Wednesday in the, well, wherever we'll be next time. See you next time.